Hello everyone, welcome to one of Sri Lanka's top rated national parks, Wilpattu. Here, you can enjoy all the beauties of the natural world whilst also having access to showers, comfortable bedding, and accessible hygienic services. This is my vlog 4 of my 3M Young Scientist Challenge journey and I can't wait to show you all what I've accomplished. Recently, I was able to share my experiences and ideas with some Sri Lankan media. I was only given this opportunity because I was selected as a top 10 national finalist in the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. During my 3M Young Scientist Challenge journey, one thing I kept coming back to and constantly working on was the research sector. Through and through, the most difficult part of research and gathering the information I required was finding correct, reliable, and trustworthy information on the internet. Countless times did I find a piece of information that I thought was correct when another source told me the exact opposite thing. And again, was the information I'm reading even correct in the first place? These were all huge problems I discovered on my Young Scientist Challenge journey. Although these roadblocks and setbacks were all the most difficult and very irritating, I knew I needed my information to be concise in order to develop my project further. Solving problems, in my opinion, requires research and background information. Not only understanding what the problem is, but understanding why it has occurred or is occurring, as well as the previous methods used to try and correct the problem, along with the pros and cons. Getting started may just require a little bit of knowledge, but solving the problem entirely will require mass amounts of knowledge and information. Massive amounts of information and research tends to lead cl to cluttered mess and overall confusion. Here, scientists must be organized as to not lose their information. For myself, research was the crucial part of how I thought of my problem. My research allowed me to look at my problem with a deeper knowledge and to see how this problem was tackled before. Using this information, I was able to generate of new creative ways to tackle this problem. The research I conducted allowed me to make educated and reasonable decisions during the initial designing and prototyping states of my project. These decisions that I made early on allowed me to visualize what I wanted to accomplish as well as how I was going to do it. That's all I have to say for this vlog. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.